It's a sweet little format on Arena right now. 100 card historic brawl. So I decided I'd give it a try, and we're trying out Brow, Chief of Compliance. Mono blue historic brawl deck here. Lots of counter spells to take advantage of Brawl's abilities. Lots of instant speed card draw, flash threats, and then some sick top end being able to steal their stuff with cards like Mass Manipulation and Agent of Treachery. Deck seems real sweet. I'm very excited to see how it does. My first time playing this format, so here's hoping it goes well for us. Shark, aha, uh -huh, we have the great shark. <laughs> Opponent's gonna need a bigger boat. TBH. Okay, well, this looks reasonable. We're against a Golo stack. Opponent. Opponent silver on scooped. There's no boat big enough. It was like gonna need a bigger boat, but there's no boat big enough, so well, it's a good start. <laughs> gonna be a lot of that, uh huh. Oh, Winota, oh no, oh no, <laughs> ah, <laughs> a little bit scary. On the draw too. If they have a mana dock, it's going to be real tricky for us. We will be bubbling this. Oh, we have a Seagate. I still don't think this hand is a me thing though. Hmm. <laughs> if I was on the play, I would keep this. I guess I'll keep. I, I'm a little bit scared. Yeah, I have Exclude. I'm worried if they have a Mana Dork, but I guess they can't because they're red-white. Yeah. It's not like in Constructed where you get to play your Mana Dorks and ramp out your Winota Ali. There's like an actual cost. So, that does help a lot. Oh, that card's scary. My card is a little bit terrifying. I guess we have a one free to block though. Marauding Raptor for the red mana. Oh no, the red mana dog. Uh, how likely am I going to be to remove this? I guess it's going to the command zone. We need to draw an untapped land next turn now, like really badly. I assume Nexus of Fate is not legal. If it was, we would be playing it, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we don't have solved the equation, maybe we should. The thing is, a lot of the cards like kind of do the same thing, right? Very replaceable cards with all the counter spells. Interesting. They did not go for Winota, so that is good for us at least. Hmm. I don't even know how we're beating all this garbage, but we'll figure it out. Hopefully, we run Island, but then we can make this like real chunky next turn as a blocker. Nautic Sprite. That's a little bit awkward. Yes, we just have to say go. Oh no, Amazon, let people give Prime subs to me. What are you doing, Amazon? Uh, that's... It's not an okay card. Boop. Uh, not quite what I was looking for. 
They say have free two on defense now, but they have a lot of garbage. Alright, we still get to kill this one, one though. I think they were meant to attack with these because they can block this one anyway, right? Kind of happy they didn't. Odin is so rude. Just that. Oh. It's like really need a two mana thing here almost. So I can go Sailor plus another spell. Uh, tap up to two target creatures. Well, I do have to do this. But then, and this become a four power thing. Like block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Real sketchy. And Chase Avatar hiding underneath that herd. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Every time they don't attack with the whole team, I get like a little bit relieved. Not that like we're in a great state, but this is a tiny bit more breathing room. Yeah, not gonna quite get there, alas. Getting that brawl answered really set us back. The hand was like a bit clunky and desperately needed the discount from brawl and the blocker, to be honest. The blocker would have been huge, right? Having a one free down. Were we dead there? Yeah. I, I didn't like do the maths, but I would be shocked if we weren't. We were on two life. Any pair of creatures kills us. They have a bunch of tokens. Okay, this sounds a bit clunky, but we'll keep. It's Keenan. Ghostly Pilferer. I would be surprised if Ghostly Pilferer was strong enough, but... Gosh, being on the draw here is scary. They're going to manage to resolve a Keenan. A little bit terrifying. Not doing silent subscription here to see if your technical difficulties are still up. Ooh, thank you for letting me know that my technical difficulties are no longer affecting me, Loki. <laughs> Appreciate the 20 months. Oh yeah, it's working. We fixed it. I think this one might be a bit slow here. Alright, so they get to resolve a Keenan next turn, and that is terrifying. I think I just have to cast this. And hope that like untapping with a brawl and a commit open is gonna be good enough to help me tread water. Good game. Wait, why are you good gaming me? Opponent, what what's gonna happen? pretty good. I guess now they get to start activating this. I wonder, am I meant to shove Keenan into their deck? With Comet? They won't draw it next turn, right? Oh, they can replace it to the command zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not ideal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just going to say go then. Hope that we can like fade anything too scary for one turn and then we can commit to Keenan. 
to buy us some um, breathing room here. Soon we're just going to activate Keenan because we can't counter that. Ah, saying go, huh? Well, here we go. Nothing too scary, please. Ugh. That ah, was a bit obnoxious. I might replace some of these tap lands with more islands. They feel like a little bit nonsense to me. Alright. Spell Swindle. Spell Swindle's a real sweet card. No blocks. Saying go. Well, we're going to look at the top two, I guess. Dig for lands. I can steal Keenan pretty soon. Yeah, I'm hoping to. I am hoping to. Oh my god. Lands. Please. Ah! Uh, uh. Hey Autumn, you're great and I love you. Allily love, Allily love, Allily love. Lorelei, thank you for the 20 month resub. I love you too. Thank you for helping talk me through stuff last night. I already appreciate you. Ah! Uh, am I allowed to scoop here, chat? I don't think I'm coming back from this. It's gonna be real tough. We'll see. I guess we can use, like, the tail's end to counter the midnight clock spinning. We can try. We can try our best. You can tail's end the Keenan's activation. No, I think I want to tail's end the midnight clock spin, right? Otherwise, I'm just going to lose to it. How many? Yeah, I have at least four lands, I'll have you know. My commander is Burl. Love to counter spells. Sure. Hey there, even blue. Oof. Land. Land. Come on, deck. You know what? We'll take it. That actually cleans up a lot of garbage. Including my barrel. Um... Well... I guess I just want to keep digging for lands, so I'm going to fire this off. Okay. Come on, sick land. You know what? Dreamy. Amazing. Are they going to keep activating the skin? It could go real badly for me, but I think I just have to let it happen. Steal that Keenan. I don't think I can afford to. I have to be able to Tails in the Midnight Clock. Otherwise, I'm just going to lose to it. Whereas, like, I can realistically beat a couple Keenan activations if they just hit Mana Dorks, right? Oh, 
Also, this way, if I find a land next turn, maybe steal two things. Nice. Yeah, I cannot take clock, sadly. Oh my god. That's... That's probably game. Hmm... Because now I need, really need to make a blocker to not die. But if I do, I don't have Tails End, and then I just lose to this. Oh, if I fire this off in response. It's also really awkward, because then I have to discard the hand size. Oh, still have Tails End? Now, this only makes expensive things cost less, Matt. Hell's that is not very expensive. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna pack this one up. I don't think I don't think there's a world in which we're coming back. You have six mana. But Tails and costs two once once we're all been bounced. Right? This is the problem. Oh, I was going to put more islands in. It's fine. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is... This is bad news. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the Ruin Crab. Victual Squid, thank you so much, the free month primary sub. Appreciate the continued support. Means a lot to me. Alright. <laughs> I get the impression that losing the die roll in this format's ru oh my god. We had like nothing. We had nothing, chat. <laughs> I get the impression that losing the die roll in this format is like real, real bad. Had intimidation, sure did. You want to try Wrath as a commander? Oh, that sounds so cool. I love Wrath. Wrath Capuchin is like one of my favorite magic cards. Yeah, locked himself. Makes sense. Okay, this hand is... something. Oh no, we know the opponent there, Yaley. That was Guillaume Matignon. At least I assume so. I would be shocked if that were not the case. Alright, no Skyclave. No Skyclave apparition, please. Hey, Luke. Good to see ya. Well, my Brawl's not dead yet. That's generally a good sign. Brawl happened to undo the Spalia. So they're, they're choosing from one of many ways to answer Brawl. I mean, Brawl was banned in uh, Magic Online Brawl, right? A long, long time ago. It's not that surprising. 
Boop. Hmm. I suppose I will stay go. <laughs> oh my gosh, Night Christmas, so that's so brutal. <laughs> I would be very confused also. Cody Brawl, ooh. That's why I was playing in like the standard Brawl event, the like college campus Brawl event, whatever it was. I was playing a Cody deck. It was pretty fun. All right. They have some sort of pump spell here. We get to Petty Theft. Otherwise, we just hold open our Whirlwind Denial and set up for a Scatter plus Petty Theft turn next turn. Ah, it seems like a card we shouldn't let resolve. Our first Brawl Trigger, finally. Uh, it's like Terramander or Swan Song, right? Sorry, Terramanda. I could just bounce the Thalia here. The Legion War Boss is being like really annoying too though. I'm gonna bounce the Legion War Boss. It just buys us a bunch of time, right? There you go. And we have Scatter up at the ready. Poor little Terramanda. Just want it just wants to do a luck. It's kinda of scary that if we scatter the war boss we don't actually have an answer to an Otter at the moment. I think I still have to. We have like so many counters in our deck, we're pretty likely to dig into one soon, right? And we have Fricks to do some decent blocking against a lot of things. The lily pad turn, it's real good. I'm very happy with the new branding. I've, I've got like a bunch of stuff planned surrounding it, but uh... Kind of just wanted to update the name when it felt right. That we're no to time. It is, we get to Fricks, eat the 2 2, and hope that's good enough. Okay, they're not going for a Winota. Is Cataday gonna become Frogger Day? Eh? <laughs> In comes the two tier. Well, I would like to cast this Frex. Is this a? This isn't even a human. What a disaster! This card's so good with Winota. It's kind of obscene. What a disaster. Miscast. Amazing. Uh, Animal Crossing froggy chair. Ooh. That does sound pretty wonderful. I'm worried if I tap too low, they just know to go for it. 
So I think I just have to play this out and say go, right? And hope they don't go for it. Because they've been playing scared so far. Search your library or graveyard for a Rowan, Fetter, Spark Mage, Reveal it, put it into your hand. Wow. Wild. That's a, it's a 5 2 Human Knight. That's not the scariest. Okay. We're gonna fire off a Behold here. Nope. And absolutely. We would love a Tail's End. Is that card? It's not like the most impressive card I've ever seen. <laughs> I guess it's an okay-ish human to win out here. Heck, thank you, Lexi. And you. Was it worse than Fadia's lances? Almost certainly. It is a 5-2, however. I cannot currently block it very effectively. So there's that. <laughs> it's actually a little bit annoying in that regard. This instant sorcery it is. It's not spell pierce. Maybe this should be spell pierce. At least it's possible we already have that one in the deck. Interesting this. Fire off a block. Make them pay for. Swan sung your own smell your own spell to make a two tier. Amazing. Amazing. I guess giving them a two two is not terribly scary at the moment, which is nice. Alright, they do nothing we get to draw to, but they're probably going to do something. Heck, thank you, Lexi. Appreciate it. And Executioner. I should probably counter that. It's really slow. But also... Should. Heck. Heck, y'all. What a good draw. What a good draw. I'm an instant sorcery. We'll get rid of this. And we're gonna do this little cycle, end of turn. Make a free free flyer. One, two, three. Free free flyer, pretty good here. Block the stalwarts. Hard cast, nah, not with a party on play. Rewind is real good with this memorial. Alright, we're actually having ourselves a little game here. Rewind the spell, fire off the draw two. Try and find some more card draw or something. I feel like I generally can't hard cast Shark Typhoon less than is actually correct. But also I think it would be like very bad for me to do it here. <laughs> I 
Gosh, Fadia really is just the anti brawl. Failed. Oop. Ooh, that is a very good draw. Actually kind of incredible. I can discard it and fire it off from the yard this time. Oh, it costs three because of the... Might just cast it from hand and discard the swan song then. I don't know, I'm pretty okay with giving them a 2-2. Two -two. We're low encounters them, and we're just gonna discard the glimpse. It'll still be good value later. What? That's aggressive. So Frix goes here, get the Fardia off the board, Free Free eats the Aspirant, and I can stomach eight damage. I can also just fire off the borrower as a blocker. This is fine. Overall beats Fardia smart. <laughs> Look. I can't count. Alright. Is this is this Swan Song about to pay off? I hope this swan song is about to pay off. Oh my god, we kept the swan song chat. We kept the swan song. Amazing. I should crack this in response. Swan song? OP. You're right. Now the stupid Fadi is finally off the board. Can get rid of this island. All right, this is feeling pretty over now. Um, fire off the Witching Well. Someday they'll cast an Ota. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. Uh, sure. Why not? Sounds grand. Just play this out. It's like fine. That was definitely a turn earlier. If they cast Winota, we were kind of screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Very glad they did not. This might be kind of needlessly greedy. Ah, shucks. Six months. I Ew. Never know. Crush dupe. For that whole half a year of tier two support. Appreciate you sticking around that long. It's been great having you here. Hell yeah. Tails End has a lot of text. Just a fact. Ew. This one taking some damage. You know what? Acceptable. Chomp. Get chomped, nerd. Oh, hey, Varipius. Okay, then. So, I can cast my Nasa. 
attack. <laughs> Negate Brainstorm. Negate's not amazing against them, but I guess they do literally have a Planeswalker in hand, so... Probably be convinced. Winota. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to resolve. One, two, three. How's Commander treating me today? It's going pretty okay. I will say this format feels like whoever's on the play is at like a pretty sizable advantage. But like when when you both make it out of the first like three or four turns alive, it's fun. That game was pretty sweet. A lot of tension. Tough decisions. Seems utterly impossible. I'm gonna lose from that. I agree with that assessment. Uh, I don't think we have many shuffle effects for brainstorm. I think brainstorm's mainly there just as a way to like, basically, can, like fill your graveyard of spells for things, help you dig for lands if you're struggling a bit. It's definitely not the best brainstorm deck though. Tough decisions like should I counter Winota? Mm-hmm. Well... Oh, do we not have to mulligan? We get a free mulligan? That's amazing. If I'd known that earlier, I would have uh, mulliganed in one of the earlier games. Alright. Nice. Well, hope this resolves. It did. Amazing. Amazing. Things you love to see. It. Hiya! The spell swindle is going to be real good. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at that tap land last turn, ruining them. Ruining them. <gasps> Helona. Good to see you, Vona. Rawr. Right, fetch ourselves an island. 23 turns remain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this draw has been kind of obscene. Gotta say. Golos not looking incredible in this matchup. At least until Field of the Dead enters the party. Alish hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-huh. What if, like, the discarded Dream Eater be like, you know, we just don't need this. We just don't need this Dream Eater to win the game, you know? Let's get rid of it. Sure. I would love to keep this hand. 
Do I have I play this top tonight? Hey. You might probably do. At least they're not threatening my life total much, but we got like lots of stuff to do here. Should be good to go. A leash, hi. <laughs> like, like that, Voda. Gosh, I kind of want to wait and go Varol into counter next time. Protect my Varol, you know. Might just do that. Yeah. Let's just be patient. We get punished if they like can counter my Varol. But even then we have a swan song. We can still resolve it. But this way we're like better against a lightning strike or whatever, you know. <laughs> Ploy my Varol and say go. Ah, so good. Oh, Bolt is legal in this format. Did not realize. Wild. Hey, Yuki chan. Just always getting rid of the Dream Eater. What a poor little Dream Eater. Deserved a better life than this. It deserved a better life than this, chat. Just getting discarded every game. No Dream Eater deserves to be treated this badly. Oh, we can do something real cute here. <laughs> Get rid of these. Oh, the Zendika Rising PT? Yeah, thank you. I'm real happy about how that one went. That was a fun one. Okay, I'm holding this. There's a decent chance I discard it, I think. Just want to find counter magic and card draw, mainly. In this matchup, doesn't feel like we need the blocker as badly. Oh, wow. Get destroyed. Goodbye, Taramanda. You'll be missed. I did very well. Thank you. Alright. Let us say go. We get to epiphanize. Bounce that token, draw a card. Bounce whatever they're up to over there. Dramatic Lantern. Do I wanna just counter that? Not like desperately. I can I can draw to you, right? We're playing in Historic today. I'm uh, currently doing some Historic Brawl, but later on in Historic, I want to try out Tima Phoenix with Growth Spiral and Quandrix Apprentice. And then I'm not sure. Hey Adam and chat. I don't know what this deck is, but it looks gross and I love it. Breath of Trees, half a year of support. Thank you for the continued support. Yeah, this deck's real gross. Real, real delightful. I'm enjoying it quite a bit so far. Ah, uh, I think I can get this down and just wait on the epiphany. That's fine. Get this ticking. Yeah, this way we get a counter out there, hand. This is amazing for us. I like. I don't care about that midnight lock is the thing. I just want to get a counter out their hand so they can't counter like my epiphanies or whatever. Yeah, for sure, Lexi. 
Just like Gross like Quandrix Apprentice seems real sweet with Faithless Looting, it fills your hand with lands that you can then discard, which is nice. So I'm pretty excited for that. Interesting. Favorite creature out of Strixhaven is so good. It's like a little tilting to play against the draft, but it's a very cool design. It's real sad if they have another counter for this exclude, but I think I do just go for the exclude. I want that value, you know? Yeah, this is Brawl. This is a hundred card historic Brawl. It's pretty, pretty sweet so far, for the most part. But they sure wish they had a negate. Mm hmm. Dissolve my Narset. Oh, there's a bird in play. Maybe I wasn't meant to do this quite yet. We're only going to get the one activation. This was maybe loose. Memory lapse is. Oh. And I think we can get our bird tokens down next turn. So we should be fine. This is a little greedy. Things could go badly if they like can do a thing with counter backup, but I think we should be fine. This is Baral. Baral? I don't know how to concatenate them and pronounce it smoothly, but... You cannot see me fall. Actual time walk. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's the one mana instant speed time walk, you know? Alright then. I would like to epiphanize. Could save this to cycle. Or like pitch to a brawl or whatever. Harvest for land. I mean that that grid wants to hit land drops, right? I think I'm gonna hold this. That's just fine. Then we're holding our bird tokens back to protect Nasa. Now I have a lot of mana up, I can actually swing a brawl safely. Literally counter spell in hand. You think this is getting the discard from the brawl or from the wizard? Right now. Which one do you think is applying the discount first? <laughs> Has anyone built Yagol? Yeah. Burrell <laughs> is the wizard. But, but which one's applying first? That's an omnath. Counter, return, token, draw. One. Two. Oh, yeah, we can do better than this, right? Counter, return, token, draw. One. Two. Three. Four. There we go. That's the correct way to do it. Get this Narset back <laughs> for Max Greed. Oh. As long as they don't draw a field of the bed, it feels like we're gonna in a good spot. Some point soon I might mass manipulate this uh, bird token. If they ever resolve on that, are we screwed? Oh, we can just steal it or whatever, right? We'll be fine. Ain't too worried. That is a win condition. 
Alright, I guess I would like as much mana in play as possible now. Love summoning. Summoning's a sweet. It's ours if we cast it. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Don't particularly want to take risks, but yes, you're right. Oop. Rid of this land. Yeah, regrows all your spells, exactly. Uh, long after they're already dead. <laughs> Several turns after they've already died, it regrows all your spells. Oh no. Well, we're running real low on counter spells here, but. I guess that one also needs to be countered. Graven Law, who. Might be casting that one next turn. seem incredible. I guess I take this. I don't really want to discard like a million cards to hand size. Wow, look at this Brawl Graven Law anti-synergy. What a disaster. What a disaster. Oh no. I was really hoping to hit a land drop there. Awkward. Little bit. A little bit awkward. Islands are not mismatched. There's snow islands. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you want out of me. I don't want to let this resolve and steal it. That was in the first trigger. I have a Nas in play. Right, technically mistapped. It'll be fine. So we do want land drops. I guess I'm bottoming the other two to look for a hard counter. Amazing. Also amazing. Technically did this incorrectly, I'm aware. Oh no! It's certainly technically incorrect. <laughs> a 
It's still going to be incredibly hard for me to ever lose this game, but also... Uh... Hmm... Hmm... I guess they're going to untap with an Omnath. Honestly, you could just not steal it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, really has the stuff in the storm count, chat. Let's be real. Oh boy, that can't scary. <laughs> Love you too, Lorelei. Almost as much as I loved that mass manipulation. Oh wow, it's an absurd draw. I don't think they can ever win, so it's fine. <laughs> it's just also incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> Why do we have this mass manipulation card in our deck? It doesn't even do anything, chat. Jeez. Aw, oh, thank you, iPhone fan. It's good having you here. Am I too late to a lily pat? <laughs> You're never too late to a lily pat. Alicia, thank you for the 38 months. Wow, that was a large number. <laughs> I appreciate you. I appreciate you almost as much as I appreciate these slightly condescending bats. <laughs> oh. Slightly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure are some things being cast over there. <laughs> You're welcome, Lexi. You're extremely wow, wow, rude. The rudest. Gosh, I'm kind of getting into this now. I might play another game or two, even though I've completed my five wins. This is pretty sweet. I'm gonna play another game or two before we hop into historic. I'm just enjoying countering spells and virtually countering my own spells. Both just wonderful things to do, you know? Ugin. Ugin the sp- Oh no, Nickel got a sp Dragon God. That's a more reasonable. More reasonable commander. Slightly, if you squint a bit. I'll keep this. I think- I think they should update the rules of magic. I think it's time for a change. It's been it's been stale for so many years. I think they need to update the rules of magic so both players just start the game with a brawl emblem. You know? <laughs> yes, Fona. What's up? <laughs> All I'm saying is if your counter spells looted, magic would just be a better game. Just be just be a strictly better game. You know? I feel like if I cast this it's gonna die against them on a removal deck, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chill for a bit. Disagree. You don't want to play Counterspell the Gathering combo? Jeez.
That's what the game's called, right? So awkward. Now if I bounce this, I can't. I defect it on the way back down. <laughs> you already play card spell the gathering, you just want everyone else to join you, exactly. I only just realized they're on the the other bolus. Oh then. Oop, I should probably answer this at some point. I just accepted I'm never resolving my commander against them anytime soon. And like I've got plenty of other like great things to be doing with my mana anyway. Then create either a treasure token, food token, or clue token. Yeah. That sounds like a wonderful card to have exist in this game. Oh wow, that is rude. I'm like pretty sure I just let this resolve. Pretty sure I just let this resolve. Otherwise I don't get to draw a card off my tome. We took the mystical dispute. Interesting. Are they about to miss a land drop? That's incredible for me. That's kind of ludicrous. I could just cast Barol here and like make them spend a removal spell. It's honestly like not terrible. Start chewing through that removal. Oh wow, that's an amazing exchange for me. Uh, I'm not paying for either. I'm just gonna put it back in the command zone. Every game of magic should start with a Voner emblem. Aha. Uh -huh. You may tap yourself and pay seven life to exile a permanent or player. <gasps> well, I remain convinced I can never let search for a scan to resolve. Heck. Wow, Vona with the illegal DMs. Jeez. Such a cute new name. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Mm hmm. I might just say go. That's kind of good to me. Tapping the tome. so much rare. Took me a while to figure out this is what I wanted it to the new stream name to be but I think it just like fits so well. It's real cute. Hey Lily Fog. A Lily Flog is coming. It might be a couple months, but we're gonna get there. I should do that, Vona. You're right. We need to figure out something for it, but I absolutely agree. Uh, this is the least concerned I've ever been about any spell that's ever been cast against me. Angras Rampage is looking A+, plus like always. I've never seen an Angras Rampage that hasn't looked basically unbeatable.
Costing my barrel. Woggy of Autumn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, no. Don't, don't cast that against me. What, what are you talking about? Why would you do that? Scouting a land is real sus when I have a Spectral Sailor in hand, but details, details. Shopping, Verona, thank you. Lily Pals. Hmm. Crim Tutor, oh my gosh, I'm excited for this. This is a nice little one mana counter spell. You'd love to see it, you really do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play one more. One more and then we're going to historic. Respect is too much, is so much, right? It's so much. The I selected the correct value for right. See, I'm learning, improving every day. Improving every day. Um, sand's a bit sus. The sand is also a bit sus for very different reasons. I will say I haven't come close to ever wanting to activate a creature land. And I have come very close to mulliganing a lot or struggling a lot due to all the fancy lands. <laughs> But aren't islands. <laughs> so there's that. I might just keep this anyway. Feeling adventurous, chat. Don't judge me. We're on the draw against Keenan. We can't win anyway. I'll be fine. In tone to an island, exactly. This is like basically four islands in our opener. We just have like a 10 card opener and four of them are islands. Look, not saying it's uh, not a skill game sometimes out here, but. Bolt it to a certain dominance. <laughs> no casting your command. Oh wow, they're not casting their commander. I still don't know how we ever beat it. But I guess that was step one. We draw an island, bounce it, spell swindle. It's not dreamy. Not ideal. Oh god. Hold on. That's like... Almost relevant. Nimble the trigger. Yeah. I'm convinced that's quite good enough. All right, Immortal Sun. Ugh. I was really hoping to bounce this, but I guess we have to bounce this now. On the basis that that card is not particularly beatable. Not the land, set an upkeep stop. That's this. Oh, hey, Lido 
Joker Boy. Islands! 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 No! Whatever. I'm off it. Cool. We got the five wins. Let's this this just leave it at that. <laughs> anyway, that was pretty sweet. Five games, five wins. And a few losses along the way, too. It's fine. <laughs>